Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now apologies if I sound a little bit sick. I am a little bit sick. Can't quite tell how much it comes across, but just in case, I wanted to let you know. I'm not like tired or sad, I'm, I just have a virus. Anyway, if you're wondering what it's like doing art with a puppy, this is what it's like. I mean, he let me draw eventually, but that day he was not having it. We're not even 30 seconds in and I'm already off topic. In any case, this is the Q&A video. This is, this is that video. And in the background, just a little bit of my rendition of Clay from Wings of Fire because fan art, it's fun. I know he looks quite different from canon, but just let me have this, all right? Okay, on to the questions. So all the questions I got fit pretty neatly into three categories of Wings of Fire slash Warrior Cats fan stuff, art, and then random. So that's how I'm going to answer them. First, naturally, we have to go off topic for a brief second. I usually do like a detailed film of either the sketch or the end of the art process but today i decided to well it, this was a few days ago anyway i decided to film like the coloring process because this is like a really key part of how my style looks like the way it looks so hopefully this will give some fun like insights into how the drawings end up the way they do okay now questions <coughs> all right first couple questions i'm going to combine because they make sense together. So the first question is, I'd like to know what got you into the fandoms? And then I'm combining that with how long have I been reading Warriors and how far into the series have I read? Okay, so with Warriors, I started those in elementary school. I think I was probably in like fifth grade when I started them. And that's like when they came out because we all know I'm old. And I started them because I saw them in the bookstore. You know, like it's not like I heard about this series and I'm like, ooh, I like cats. I'm going to read it. It's like I saw a cover with a cat and then I started reading them. And I read them to had to look this up. I read them through the Omen of the Stars arc, but I can honestly tell you I only remember like the last thing that happens in the last book of Omen of the Stars. And then other than that, I remember nothing from that arc. So, and I like barely remember the third arc, The Power of Three. So mostly I remember the very first arc and then the second arc. And this is because I was just by the time the other arcs came out, I was too old, you know? I was right in the correct age set when they started coming out, and then I got older, and the books were still written for younger kids, so I was reading, like, Aragon by then, you know? Oh, but for real, the last book of that last arc was published in 2012, and I was, I was in high school at that time, so a bit old for those books. But, I mean, I read them anyway, because I'm a nerd, so there you go. All right, and then... How did I get into the Wings of Fire fandom? As someone who likes to post art of dragons on like Instagram and stuff, I kept seeing like, oh, tribes and fan tribes. And I think I had heard of it somehow, but I didn't really pay attention until Emily from Snake Discovery said that she read them and that they were good. And then I still didn't get into the fandom because I was like, oh, these books are for kids. I'm probably not really going to like them because I'm a stickler for writing, writing style because I suck. But then I was like, I was bored one day and I was like, oh, this, this would be fun to review because I had just started making videos and I was like, oh, I can review this because I'm an authority on dragons. So... Yeah, I'm going to review this kid's series and see what happens. And then I fell in love, or if you can potentially call it obsession, I will allow it. So yeah, here we are. Um, of those, I have read all but the Legends books. So I've read the three main arcs. The next question also ties in, and that is, who is your favorite character from the Warrior Cats in Wings of Fire series? Again, I'm sorry, I don't remember very much of the arcs other than the first two of Warrior Cats. And, like, I'm basic. Firestar is my favorite. Like, he's the one that introduced me to the world, you know? And he's, like, the OG, and he's my favorite. Also, I reread his series, like, 
ton. So I feel like I know him better than I know the other cats. Is that weird? Is that like having a parasocial relationship with a fictional character? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, and then my favorite character from Wings of Fire. This is hard because I really like the first arc and the third arc, but I also really like Moon from the second arc. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to do a ranking because I'm indecisive. Number one is Glory. Number two is Clay. Number three is blue. And then number four is moon. Just because I can't say like, oh, glory is my favorite and then not mention any of the others because it is very close. The next question is specifically what time did you start reading the books of these two fandoms? And so for Warriors, that was 20, uh, sorry, 2006. And then I started reading Wings of Fire in 2022. Bit of a gap there. Okay, so next question. Which of your fan tribes are you most fond of? I... I wish I didn't have a favorite because I feel like a terrible, like, mother. Does that make sense? But the Geyer Wings are my favorite. And I think you can tell, like, I just, they ended up cool, okay? So I like them. Also, drawing feathers is really fun. And I just really liked the idea of, like, a badass warrior tribe. Does that make sense? Okay, next question. What kingdom from Wings of Fire would you live in? I would live in the Rainwing Kingdom. Duh best kingdom. Just like think about it. Okay, which kingdom would be the best to live in? The rainforest. Which tribe is the coolest? The rainwings. They have the best powers, okay? And I will argue. Just kidding. I'm not really confrontational, but if you want to argue about it in the comments, we can argue friendlyly, nicely, cordially argue about it. All right, which character arc from my fan tribe series do I like the best? And that's gotta be my girl Nyx because I made her the main character because I liked her so much. Next question, which character from Warrior Cats would you remake? Redesign, add or subtract character arcs, etc. See, this is tough because, again, I read them a long time ago and I don't 100% remember everything. Kind of makes me want to reread them. Should I reread them and then talk about it let me know as a hail mary because i really don't remember much i feel like sandstorm could have been cooler there could have been more stuff about her like to make me like like her more does it make sense i don't know i feel like she had some untapped potential there who knows maybe i'll, I'll reread it and be like what the heck are you talking about because again don't remember all right and then last question from this category which character from the fan tribe project are you looking forward to drawing next? Someone gave me a really good idea for the Scorchwing Queen, so that one. Okay, category two. I held up a three, but you guys couldn't see. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Art! Okay, question one. Which of your projects was the most time-consuming? Hands down, Warriors Clan Gen. Like, drawing 15 cats that took a long time the tracked time for the original video is 12 hours technically 11 hours and 17 minutes but still i mean i have more tribe gen videos right now just because for those i kind of hone in on a single character for the videos but like even with so many tribe gen videos the warrior's drawing time still wins i did the math actually and it's taken me about 19 hours to do all of the drawings for all of my tribe gen videos and it's taken a total of 21 hours to do the drawings for the cats videos so the cats that was actually a really good question because i didn't know that until i looked just now so now we all know okay next question kind of related how long does one of your pieces take on average to complete it it honestly depends if I'm going try hard, those usually take like four plus hours. So this painting was try hard and it took four hours and 44 minutes. But actually I just looked and Typhoon only took me like two and a half hours to draw. I guess it just went nice. But then the queen of the tide wings took like four hours because I was struggling. So it kind of depends on how much I struggle. <laughs> and then like if it's a human, it's definitely going to take longer. And if it's a commission, I usually take longer on those. Next question. If someone wanted to print out one of your drawings for their walls and such, would they have your permission? Yes. Yes, you do have my permission. I'm thinking one day it would be cool to like sell either high quality printable downloads or like actual prints so people can get like high quality stuff if they want. But like, I don't have those available yet. 
um, to clarify, even if I did have prints available, I'm definitely not opposed to people taking images from stuff that I've posted and having them to display and look at and enjoy. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Could ramble about this, but I'm not gonna. Okay, next question. When did you start with digital art? I started doing digital art in 2018 and I drew this bad boy. Next question. At what time are you the most creative? Anytime after, like, 11 30 p.m it is currently 12 32 so yeah will you do live streams at some point yes i'm actually working with my really good friend on trying to get live streams set up because both of us want to do it but both of us are like i don't want to do it alone so yeah funny enough because of her time zone we would be streaming from like 11 30 p.m to like 2 a.m which is my prime artistic time anyway so basically ideal but yeah we're still working on it because we're both busy next question will you maybe do a tips and tricks video on digital art at some point yes that's a great idea i will do it next question can you show us your oldest and latest drawings for comparison yes i can here they are side by side have i improved please say yes Next question, what brushes do you use? I'm actually going to insert a video of me going through the brushes because I've altered settings on quite a few of them, so. All right, so one of my main brushes is the Dry Brush Light from Cynix. This is an art YouTuber. He is called Cynix Design, I think. You can download his brushes from his videos. I also have an altered gouache paintbrush from the Procreate app and the settings are on the video and then i have another altered brush that i'm not sure what it came from but the base of it is just a circle and then i've altered some of the settings and then finally i also use the flat brush from procreate just the generic flat brush and then sometimes for human skin i'll use the soft airbrush or soft blend the next question is really sweet actually which project of yours are you most proud of Ah, okay. This is subject to change, but just right now while I'm recording this, I feel very proud of my fan tribe project. I can't say most proud because it feels like choosing favorites, but I'm just really proud of this one right now because we're working on this discord and it just strikes me that like I've created like a scenario and a world that people want to be in they want to have characters that are part of these tribes and they want to role play in this world and i'm like oh my gosh and also it makes me really proud to see people have ideas about the characters and the story in these videos i get comments like "Ooh, what if this what if that and it just i see those and i'm like Oh my gosh, like something that I created has given someone ideas, it's made them excited, and that is like everything that I could have hoped for and more. Yeah, that makes me extremely proud. <laughs> okay, on that heartfelt note, switching into the other category, what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Because y'all know I'm like aggressive and like loud and like super competitive and like can, can you feel the sarcasm i am stubborn though they they got that one right okay next question what is your favorite tv show i'm gonna preface this by saying this changes for me i get very invested in something that i'm currently watching and my my favorites change over time but yeah currently off the top of my head I gotta say Brooklyn Nine-Nine because it just makes me laugh and makes me happy. Bonus, my favorite YouTube channel right now is Dive Talk. Am I a scuba diver? No. No, I'm not. Next question. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. And then they also ask, what is your favorite sweet? Brownies. Are you sensing a theme? I'm sensing a theme. Okay, next question. How do you like your eggs? Scrambled, fried, sunny side up? I would say favorite scrambled mostly what i eat though is over easy because like that's that's how my mom made them and it's like really 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 easy 
hence over easy. No, I'm just kidding. I know it's not called that because of that, but still. Next question. Out of all the superpowers, if you could have one, which would it be? I would say the ability to turn into any animal. Is that cheating? Yes. Okay, to make it non-cheaty, if I had to pick an animal, I would choose one. Um, I'm not prepared to make that decision right now, but yeah, anyway. Last question, how is the little gremlin, aka Indy the puppy? The gremlin is good. Here's a video of him at the park playing with his friend. And you guys, this is extra cute because he used to be terrified of this dog. Like, on our second or third trip to the dog park, that was the first time that they ever met each other. And he was so scared, he, uh, he, he peed. Just because he was scared of barking, and she barks when she's excited. But yeah, now they're like best friends. Seriously. Her name is Missy, by the way, and she's lovely. Also, I have to tell you, the gremlin is teething like mad right now. So it's kind of funny, because he has like seven canine teeth, because his new canines are growing in, like, and he hasn't lost his baby teeth yet, and so he reminds me of a shark. Also, he likes to nip your hands, so that also reminds me of a shark, but I know that's part of the natural teething process for dogs. So we just try to gently redirect, and most of the time it works, so honestly I count that as a huge win. Okay, but also, like, isn't he so cute? I could just talk about him for, like, hours. So instead of doing that, I'll, you know, awkwardly segue into my nice and long rambly outro firstly to everyone who asked a question thank you so much it was actually really fun to go through and like chat about stuff that you guys are interested in naturally i have to say feel free to ask questions on any videos not just the video where i asked you to ask questions because i do read all the comments eventually and i like answering questions down there and as kind of was demonstrated in this video as well if you have ideas for videos that I should make, please let me know because it's most likely that I'll make them. You know, like a digital art tips and tricks video, for example. And of course, if you want to answer any of these questions, answer them in the comments and we can, we can all learn about each other and be friends. Okay, <laughs> anyway, before I dissolve into another coughing fit, thank you very much for watching i hope you liked this video let me know what you think of my little art fan art thing painting that's what it's called okay i should i should go to bed now i'll see you around